Hello and welcome back to the channel for another Power of the Doctor news update. Empire Magazine have released an exclusive image of the 13th Doctor and her TARDIS from the special in some sort of alien landscape. We're not exactly sure where this is and I'll be discussing some rumours and bits and pieces in the video. I and mean, obviously in real life terms, it's a quarry. But yeah, a very exciting uh, image this one. Quite different to the other images we've got so far from the special, which I haven't actually discussed on the channel yet. Do let me know if that's something you'd like to see in the future. And as ever, a massive shout out to the Black Archive Photo Gallery for making all of these promo images available and finding high quality versions or as high quality as possible. It's a fantastic resource, I often use it for my videos and I will of course leave a link in the description if you check it out yourselves. So we've got that image and then a little mini interview as well with Jodie Whittaker in which she discusses the sort of the circumstances of her regeneration scene and of the episode and stuff and giving away a couple of interesting details. They're not giving away too much but a few interesting bits that we can sort of talk about and speculate about. So I'll be discussing both those things in this video, the image and the interview. Uh, this comes as well ahead of a new issue of Empire Magazine being released, I believe on the 29th of September, just a few days away at the time of recording. So there may well be more things to discuss in a couple of days time when the full issue is out there. So first of all, the image, uh, very, very exciting, like I say, it kind of uh, feels very epic, this, and the sort of blue tinge to it, and this, this Aiden landscape, like I say, that this quarry, essentially, and also in the background as well, these sort of CGI spaceships or buildings or whatever they are it all feels quite epic uh, lots of people sort of speculated that perhaps this comes you know towards the end of the power of the doctor towards the end of the episode when the 13th doctor you know is having her last stand and is about to regenerate i think that's probably a bit of clever misdirection on the part of empire magazine to be honest because you know for months and months there have been these rumors about Jodie regenerating like by falling off a cliff or just regenerating by a cliff or something along those lines and I doubt they'd actually release an image of such an important scene, you know, so early before the episode's actually gone out. So, yeah, I'm not entirely convinced that this image is actually, you know, from the regeneration scene or anywhere near that, to be honest. But at the same time, it is tempting to speculate and to put two and two together here. And, uh, yeah, whatever the case, it certainly looks like a very interesting scene, a very epic scene, like I say. You've got to wonder where Yaz and Dan are at this point in proceedings as well. You know, are they in this scene? Because they're not in the photo. Maybe they're just off camera somewhere. Or maybe, you know, this does take place later in the episode once they've been left at home and left behind. And also, you know, who the Doctor is going up against here because she certainly seems to be going up against some sort of adversary, some sort of enemy, you know, whether that's the Master or the Cybermen or the Daleks or something else entirely. I mean, it has been suggested by one or two people that this location looks quite similar to the Burnished Rage Battleground at the place in the Halloween Apocalypse where Swarm was locked up, that division prison planet place. And you can certainly see a resemblance there, you know, it's a quarry, it's blue, it's dark. And it's definitely something I'd like to see them, them actually do, you know, to have the Doctor return to that significant location, you know, from Flux and from this whole story arc, you know, with Swarm and the Timeless Child and all, all this sort of stuff. It would be quite epic to see her actually return to that place and sort of have a showdown, you know, maybe with the Ravagers or with Time or God knows what. But on closer inspection, it is actually a different quarry, which would appear to rule that out completely, you know, unless they've actually had to relocate to a different quarry for some logistical reason. But no, if we look at the evidence, it would appear to be a different quarry. Basically, the swarm scenes, the Burnished Rage Battleground, that was filmed at Penwilt Quarry, whereas for Centenary, filming took place at Bridge End Quarry. And we know this because there was an image that leaked of Mandip Gill and Jodie Whittaker by the TARDIS prop, actually, funnily enough, at this quarry from when the filming took place. In terms of what Jodie Whittaker has to say about her regeneration and about the episode more broadly, she says, It's one for the Whovians. It's a huge treat if you're a proper fan. It's got all the iconic things that you associate with Doctor Who. It's massive. She goes on to say, I love the dialogue Chris wrote for my regeneration. It captures my Doctor beautifully. It's simple, epic, and beautiful. The interview also reveals that the scene was delivered in one long take. Which is quite a substantial detail, really, because we don't really know much about the regeneration itself or about the scene or anything. You know, we've had hints and snippets and stuff, like hints that it might not take place inside the TARDIS this time. 
But yeah, that, that's just quite exciting, quite, uh, it, it makes it quite real to actually hear them talk about the scene like this, you know, after all these months of secrecy and all this stuff we still really don't know about, it kind of brings it into focus a bit more. And I think certainly it's going to be a very impressive scene, impressive regeneration, you know, if it is all done in one shot, in one take, you know, from a technical standpoint, that's going to be really interesting to see and hopefully really visually exciting as well. I mean, we have seen them attempt stuff like this before, for instance, you know, in the Ghost Monuments, where you have that very long take, I think it's like a minute and a half or something, of the Doctor waking up in Epso's ship and then just sort of moving around that space in one continuous shot. And we get to see all these different parts of, of that set and be introduced to Epso as a character. And it's just a very interesting way of telling that story and sort of communicating the Doctor's disorientation, I guess, and the sort of the chaos of that scene. So hopefully here as well, that technique is going to be used to a suitably epic effect. But yeah, there are my thoughts on this image and on this interview as well. And like I say, you know, hopefully when the magazine itself gets released in a couple of days time, hopefully we'll get some more quotes from that interview, a slightly longer version of it perhaps, and maybe some more exclusive images as well, maybe? And speaking more generally as well, surely a full trailer can't be that long away at this point. I mean, the episode itself is like less than a month away now, so hopefully things are going to start stepping up a gear sooner rather than later. And of course, as soon as the trailer is released, I'll be covering it on the channel, so do stay tuned for that. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you fancy supporting me on Patreon, you can find the link to my Patreon page in the video description. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.